What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here. It's been quite a while since I did an episode of Robin Gaming Answers, which is pretty much my Q&A type of uh, video series. So yeah, I thought it would be cool to do a new episode, um, you know, for once. Uh, so I asked a lot of the people on Facebook and stuff um, if they wanted to submit some questions for, yeah, this episode. And uh, luckily I've received quite a few, uh, few interesting questions, so I picked a total of 10 questions. Um, and yeah, I'll be answering those pretty much. Now, if you have any questions for me or want to know my opinion on a certain topic or something, then go ahead and uh, yeah, leave your question in the comments and maybe you'll get picked for a next episode. But for now, let's just immediately get into it because, um, yeah, like I said, it's a total of 10 questions. Don't want to keep the video too long, of course, so I'm just going to get right into it. So the first question is actually a general question. It wasn't asked by uh, anyone, in spe like specifically anyone. But um, yeah, I mean, I've been receiving the question quite a few times now. Uh, whether people can add me on PSN and yeah I've said in a few videos that uh, I'm planning to add everyone or at least accept everyone's friend request if they uh, yeah send a friend request to me on PSN but I'm not gonna do that as of now yet I'm gonna wait till November the 29th uh, why is that well basically because the PS4 of course is coming out on the 29th here in Europe that's when I'll be getting one and um, yeah I mean I hope you can understand why but like there's a few more privacy options I heard on the PS4 that you can kind of like turn on or switch off or something like that and um, yeah I hope you understand that if I already added like a total of 2,000 people maybe on PSN right now when still playing Uncharted 3 online or something then I would be spammed with invites and I'd rather wait a bit with that so hopefully you can understand that but yeah from the 29th on you should be able to add me and I will accept every friend request that I get so I don't know if, if it will ever get to 2,000 people if so then that's awesome um, but yeah just know that the first 2,000 then are of course the people that I'll be picking Picking. So um, yeah, just send me a friend request if you want on the 29th. So the first uh, question that I want to go into is from Joseph Obratov and he asked how much money do you make from YouTube? Now um, yet, I mean, I don't know if uh, if this comes like as a surprise to, to anyone, but of course I make money from YouTube. It's pretty obvious, like every channel nowadays that has one like 1,000 subscribers or a bit more than that already is partnered with a certain channel. And that just means that you're making, uh, you know, YouTube money or, or whatever people want to call it. Um, now, I can't go into specifics because that's all in the contract and you're not allowed to talk about that. Just know that I'm happy with what I earn. That's, that's what I'll keep it at. Um, however, I do think that there's a few general misconceptions about making you know money with YouTube and people seem to kind of like exaggerate it quite a lot actually um, and yeah also when I see people like almost commenting on videos of like pretty small channels that they're like view whoring or like just doing it for the money then I'm already like you you absolutely don't know what you're talking about like a lot of people just don't really know the specifics of making money on YouTube so I might actually do a video on that uh, sometime soon but let me know if you're interested in that in the comments because I'm not really sure how many people would be interested in a video like that okay so next up a question from Mohammed Abdel Rahim. Sorry if I don't pronounce that correctly, but uh, he asks, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for the new Uncharted? Um, an absolute 10, maybe 11 actually. <laughs> I mean, that franchise is of course just my favorite franchise ever. I mean, from what I've played so far in my whole life, Uncharted is definitely my favorite franchise ever. Um, yeah, I mean, I just hope that this one will be able to surpass Uncharted 2 even, because that's still to me the best game. And um, yeah, I just absolutely can't wait for it. I mean, you know how excited I am for that. So the next one from Alexa Hermosa. Uh, what convinced you to start YouTube? Now, this is quite an interesting question, I think, because like from all the people that started doing YouTube, my story is quite a, a rare one, I would say, because like nothing really convinced me to start YouTube. I have had YouTube for five years, didn't do anything with it in the first three years. And then, you know, pretty much like I wanted to start doing a top 10 plays episode for Uncharted 3 just myself, kind of like try, out, try it out. And of course, I mean, I've had some success with that and it started being put on Uncharted TV. And from there on, things have just evolved. And uh, I never expected this to happen. I never expected to do YouTube. It was just that like, you know, once I started doing the top 10 plays and I started getting subscribers, I tried out different videos and I saw that people really liked them and really liked to hear my opinions, uh, you know, on things. And yeah, I mean, that was just great. And that pretty much convinced me to keep 
like making videos and I'm still doing that today two years later it's pretty uh, pretty mind-blowing actually okay so the next one Connor Concilla asks uh, what are your future plans for the channel now to be honest I really don't know too well yet like this is this is a very organic thing you know I don't know yet which videos I will make next week actually I don't know yet what I will do after this one to be honest like I have a few ideas but I never really know what I'm gonna do and it, it pretty much depends on what happens you know like with an announcement like Uncharted that, that just came out of the blue you know and I just thought okay so now I should make a video on that um, but yeah I mean in general future plans for the channel I'm planning on doing a lot more like uh, little discussions on you know news topics and uh, just things in general that are like very popular at the moment in terms of gaming and stuff you've seen me doing that for the past month now pretty much um, and yeah also I mean Uncharted 4 is gonna be a large part of it because um, yeah I mean for the longtime subscribers they will know that I've you know like in the first year that I did YouTube it was pretty much all Uncharted and like I don't want to disappoint people and at the same time I'm also very excited for Uncharted 4 of course so you can see me doing a lot of videos on that and then just in general there will also be a lot of other videos um, you know related to gaming that's what my channel is called Robin Gaming right <laughs> so the next one from Krunoslav Smeka, I'm, I'm sorry for the name, but uh, hopefully you can forgive me on that. How are things going in college? I'm seeing you making more videos every week. Is that a good or a bad sign? Um, it's a good sign, don't worry. It's uh, Yeah, I mean, I said in the beginning of this year that I was going to make a lot less videos and uh, pretty much to focus on school because I didn't really do well last year. Um, but right now, things are going pretty decent, I must say. Still got four subjects that I need to catch up on from school, um, you know, from last year. Um, and I'm still doing that right now. But I kind of like saw how, you know, making the extra one or two videos in a week definitely doesn't like hurt schoolwork or something I realized and at the same time that also really uh, like increases the the sort of like activity around my channel so uh, yeah I'm really happy you know one or let, let me keep it at this like when I did one or two videos in a week I, I noticed that things didn't go as well as before and um, now that I'm doing a lot more videos every week I see that kind of like increasing a lot again so count on me when I say that um, yeah you will see about three videos every week from now on so uh, yeah I hope you will find that as cool as I do so the next one from Alexi Kananen could you do a fan speaking thing I suppose he means with Omigo or something um, yeah, I mean, I haven't really thought about that. Is that something you're interested in? I, I definitely wouldn't mind doing that or something if people find that cool. At the same time, I mean, my channel isn't of the like biggest size, so I mean, fan speaking, I, I, I still am kind of like skeptical on the whole fan part, you know, how many fans are there out there or would want to, to speak on Amigo or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm definitely, definitely interested in that. And uh, yeah, if you are, then let me know that in the comments and I may look into the possibilities. So uh, three more questions to go. This one is from Franks Orton. How long will Sony be supporting PS3 with games, do you think? Now, I gotta be very honest here. Sony themselves, not very long, I, I think. Like, we don't know of any PS3, any real PS3 big exclusives that are coming out next year. And I mean, Sony is going to fully shift their focus to the PS4. That's just how it is. And I think people should accept that and should understand that. It's the third parties like Activision and EA with, you know, games like Call of Duty that will still come out on all platforms, you know, for the coming, like, two or three years maybe. Um, but Sony themselves, they will be fully shifting over to the PS4. I'm sure of that. You know, they are done with the PS3. They want to move on and make people now buy the new console because that brings in a lot more money at the moment. Um, so, two more questions. Tanya Kosi asks uh, what's your thoughts on the Jack and Dexter series should there be a fourth game now I'm playing the Jack and Dexter series at the moment I beat uh, one like I got the platinum trophy for that and two I'm, I'm like I just started I'm probably about five hours into that right now um, I must say by the way that I see that many people like Jack 2 a lot more think that that one is the best but right now I enjoy Jack 1 more um, basically because it's that like raw platforming in these very exotic uh, environments you know tropical environments um, or actually just environments of like every kind the snowy stuff jungle stuff fire stuff you know that kind of stuff while Jack 2 is kind of just more in a gray city and I'm not really liking that as much at the moment also the combat I don't really think it's that great or something but uh, should be a fourth game in my eyes and I'm really sorry I know I'm gonna disappoint a lot of people by saying it because a lot of people are looking forward to a fourth game um, I am not I'm not really excited for a fourth game I mean 
I still have two more games to beat from the whole series, so maybe that will change, you know, that opinion. But right now, I just think, yeah, I mean, sure, that, that I, I would I would definitely like a fourth game, but then probably not by Naughty Dog. You know, if Sony Band or something would work on that, that would be totally fine by me, and I would probably uh, buy that, actually. But Naughty Dog, I just think they can do a lot more exciting stuff with franchises like uh, Uncharted, The Last of Us, and also new IPs. You know, it just seems that the Jack and Dexter series doesn't really allow for... Um, for Naughty Dog to get the full potential out of their studio in the next game, you know, and that's just that's just my opinion, of course. Um, but yeah, still, I mean, I enjoy the Jack and Dexter games. I just don't really think that there should be a fourth game from them. Um, I would much rather see like a sequel to The Last of Us or a new IP uh, next up. So the last question comes from Tamara Rose One Hayden. Uh, out of all the games that you've played in your life, what do you say would be the most enjoyable game you've played? Um, some games come to mind, like Mirror's Edge, which had amazing gameplay. Also Uncharted 2, because it was just such an enjoyable ride, you know. Some multiplayer games that I played in the past, I really enjoyed Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, actually. But I gotta say that the game I enjoyed the most is the one that you're seeing in the background right now, Skate 2. Um, yeah, I mean, that was a game of this generation, played it a lot on my PS3. One of the games that I've played the most, and... Um, yeah, I mean, I just really, really enjoyed that gameplay. The whole flicket system of controlling, you know, your, your character with the skateboard. It felt so great and it was so much fun to play. Also online with this very active community um, who are all very nice and friendly people. I just thought Skate 2 was absolutely amazing and really, really enjoyed that game. So those were the 10 questions. Um, yeah, it took only 12 minutes to answer them, so that's pretty good, I would say. Uh, if you have a question for your next episode, then let me know that. And of course, let me know your uh, opinion on the questions that I've answered right now. Uh, do you think I should do some kind of like fan speaking thing? How long do you think that Sony will be supporting the PS3? Just let me know that kind of stuff in the comments and then I want to thank you all for watching and hope to see you again next time. Yeah.